Hey guys, it's Senpai here, and welcome to the first part in my Krunker map making tutorial series. In the last part, we did a little overview of what is to come. Now today, I'm going to be going over the basic controls for the Krunker map editor. Once you're familiar with these, map making in Krunker will become much more intuitive. But just before we get into it, I need to show you how to get to the editor itself. There are two ways to do it. The first one is to go to Krunker, click on the games tab, and then game editor. That will bring you to the editor, and this even works on client. The second way is to simply go to krunker.io slash editor.html, and that will take you right to the editor. I suggest that you hit this little bookmark here, and that will pin it to your bookmarks when you make a new tab. All right, starting off with the very basics, you press and hold right click to look around. To move around, use the W, A, S, and D keys, just like Krunker, and you use Q to go down and E to go up. If you hold shift, you move much faster. You can left click an object to select it. Okay, now that we've gotten the very basics of the editor down, let's talk about the shortcuts. You press one to use the translate or move tool. You can also use the button up here. You press two for rotate, but make sure you watch the bugs video before you use this. You can press three for the scale tool. The delete slash backspace key does what you think it would do. It deletes the selected object. Pressing Shift R duplicates the selected object. Pressing P creates a placeholder inside of your camera. It's useful for making groups. You can check out the groups video for that. So those are the most common shortcuts. There are quite a few more advanced ones that you probably don't need to know right now. But if you're interested, you can go to the help button and click on controls. And here you can see every shortcut and you can even change some of them. Well, that just about does it for the controls of the editor. If this helped you, leave a like, and make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Don't forget to join the MMOK Discord if you have any questions. But now, let's move on to the next part of the series. Bye!